Hey, so I just wanted to give a quick overview of how we can ingest 3D models within Yellowfin and then use those to create a fully interactive display in the dashboard. So I'm going to start here just by presenting kind of the final product. Uh, we have a human who is plotting various injuries along his body. And in this case, I've highlighted specifically uh, the upper arm and upper leg. So this would obviously be expanded to include the rest of the body parts. So the first thing we can see is that the coloring of these elements is being directly impacted by the filter values that are being applied. So in this case, the more people who have gotten injured, uh, given the various demographic combinations, the brighter red this is going to become, indicating that these are more severe injuries or more frequent injuries. Um, in this case, we can also then click on individual elements within our body chart and interact with this to filter other reports in the dashboard. So it's, for example, on the left right, we can see a list of the various athletes and the injuries they've had. By clicking on the right left quad, I can then filter this list accordingly to show the left quad, maybe drill through to uh, find a little bit more information about that injury, uh, about that specific player. Similarly, clicking on the bicep, we'll apply the bicep filter to this entire dashboard, showing all 107 uh, players who've had that injury. Uh, so going into how this was done, uh, the first thing we did was actually to create the 3D model itself, and in this case, I used a tool called Blender, but the final result of this is an open source format, and that most 3D tools, such as Maya, can also generate these uh, types of, types of uh, models. In this case, I've started with a model that I downloaded off the internet, uh, just a, a simple free model of a human, and I've done a few small adjustments to this. So you can see that this actually consists of three individual components. We have the entire human body, we have individual arm, an individual leg mesh as well. Each of these have their own uh, material characteristics, which is going to be very useful when we go to style this at the end. You can also see that in the collection here, I've named these elements accordingly. Uh, the bicep is called the bicep, the body is called body. These will then become valuable in my JavaScript as I inherit uh, some of these names specifically. Once I'm done with this, I export it into a file format called GLTF. Uh, this is an open format that can then be consumed by our the subsequent chart. Going to the chart library itself. What I've done in this case is I've created a simple Yellowfin report wherein I list the various body parts and list the count of the athletes who have had an injury at that body part. You'll notice that the names here of the body parts are correlating very specifically with the names here that I've assigned my elements within the model. To actually render this, we're going to leverage Yellowfin's JavaScript chart functionality and a specific chart library called 3JS uh, that provides us a great framework to really build this on top of. Most of what we're doing here is simply setting up the scene for this model to be consumed. Um, so you can see I have saved, in this case, my model to the root folder of Yellowfin in a format called that GLB. So this is my man model too. I then set up a scene where the camera is going to lie, what the background is going to be, how my uh, model is going to be lighted and then load my man model into here and begin to parse some of the elements within it. Each of these elements in the model is going to be accessible as a child element of the primary model itself. So in this case, what I'm doing is I'm iterating over these model features and associating them with count values from our data set. And that allows me to then create a color based on that. So in this case, I'm changing the materials red value and a scale based off that current values uh, relation to 100. Going to the preview tab, you can see this in action. You can also see that I've slightly moved the arms out, uh, just changing its Z value to give it a little bit of a feel of pop out, really highlight the fact that this is a dyna dynamic element. The final portion of this is applying on click events. And essentially what we're doing here is we're shooting a line through this model and looking at the first element that it interacts with. So as I click on the quad, I can then use Yellowfin's JavaScript API in the dashboard to update a filter value. So I'm gonna hypothetically call a function called set body part filter that will live on dashboard. Quickly going back to the dashboard, I can show you how that was built as well here. You can see this is very simple. I have two reports that I've just dragged onto the canvas, one being my body chart, the other being a report listing the various athletes that accepts a body part filter. I then added a demographic filter uh, to the body part report, mostly to just show you how these values will adjust as different data sets are fed into the code. Code itself in the dashboard side is very minimal. Essentially all I've done 
is that a listener for that set body part filter I defined in the chart report itself. Then I use Lever Yellowfin's filters API to set the body part filter to the specific value that you've selected. So not much really going on there. And again, to show you this in action, as I filter this data set, the number of athletes we're considering is gonna be reduced dramatically, specifically those with injuries. And in this case, you can see that we have quite a few more who have bicep injury than who have this left quad injury. Again, by clicking on the chart, I can apply the filter of the element that I clicked on to the rest of the reports. This doesn't have to apply just to body maps. Uh, this could also apply to things like uh, building diagrams, space efficiency, those sort of features as well. Just wanted to show you how 3JS uh, and uh, 3D models can be implemented within Yellowfin. Thank you.